Hello, everyone, and welcome to Best of Six. I'm your host, Jake. Joining me, as always, is Julian and Larone. half size crew today. Best of but, Six. Uh, you know what they say, the most stable chair is three legs, so. Wow. Okay. You're getting, you're getting good at these transitions. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we don't have uh, a lot for news. We're, our main focus is uh, the kernel today, but we'll, uh, we'll start off with the news first. So, uh, Alpha Dream, developer of Mario and Luigi series, files for bankruptcy. Yeah, that came as a surprise to me because, okay, when I first heard the news, I, I assumed that Alpha Dream was a subsidiary of Nintendo, and I just kind of assumed Nintendo funneled money into them, but they're not a subsidiary, and apparently, like, they've been in, like, debt for a while, and... I didn't know the Inside Story remake did so bad. Yeah, how all, bad did it do? It all worked out in the end. Hey, he came in right just in time? An hour of four-legged chair. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. How? Oh yeah. How? So it. I I heard that it did poorly. How poorly did it do? Um, let's find what out. Did poorly. I mean, that was I mean, inside story. I imagine that it the must. 3DS. That it, the 3DS. The 3DS. Oh, the 3DS version did terribly. Yep. I mean, I didn't even know that it happen that's part of the problem the other part is that he has already played that game yes like, it was like no reason to... it's like remaking a gamecube game just for the wii like yeah why like if you have a 3ds you can play that game if you you know because it's a ds game that it has the 3ds has backwards compatibility so not to like... mention the 3ds was already obsolete at that point yeah that it sounds like a terrible decision like, yeah, they, it was they, obsolete they, when they released the first remake, and then they made another one. Yep. Well, that's questionable, then. That's very questionable. I wonder Nintendo why. Nintendo wanted to, wanted to make the 3DS relevant, I guess. So they got Alpha Dream to remake Mario and Luigi RPG games. They don't care about the 3DS being relevant. They're irrelevanting it themselves. What was the last Direct where they talked about 3DS games? At the beginning of the year, I think? Yeah. Even then, that's, uh... they spent like... I'm not even sure that's true. I'm not sure if they talked about 3DS games in 2019, at least not more than like a quick mention. Whoa, wait, what? It's so... I just looked up the sales numbers. It sold yes. 0. .01 million? Whoa. It, it Wait, literally point didn't sell zero copies. One? Yeah, and that's, only in Japan, apparently. That's that's 10,000 copies. What? It didn't sell copies. That's like <laughs> that's like not even good for an indie game. <laughs> 10,000. Point oh one this million. A, this is a Mario game, too. Like I know it's a spinoff, but it's still a Mario game. That might be the worst-selling Mario game of all time. Yeah, that's it's one of the worst. And it's really sad because, like, at least Super the ones that remade are actually good. The rest were all either mad or bad, but, like, they really just shot I mean, themselves in the hood. Yeah, it is kind of weird to make a remake for a console at the end of its lifetime for a game already available for the console via backwards compatibility. Not that, like, you. I mean, I guess it was just like, oh, you can't. You can't buy it for the 3DS, so if you wanted to play it now, you'd either have to find a but used DS isn't copy. Isn't the answer obvious? Put it on the new portable console. Put it on the Switch. So yeah, put, See, it on, put it on the Switch or like... And don't ruin the control scheme. Yeah, why, why did they even remake it? Couldn't they have just like rebundled it and just put it on the store and the 3DS if they really wanted to do that? See, people were like, because Alpha Dream has never developed for an HD console. So people were like, okay, maybe, like, they didn't want to develop for the Switch because, like, they didn't. They yeah, I, I, mean, I can see that. Purple. A remake for, like, a totally different platform is, is a lot. It's a ton of work. And if they're already in oh. debt, I mean. Yeah. Also, Bowser's Inside Story was, like, kind of made for a DS if they're going to remake it because, like, you have to, like, there's, like, certain sections where, like, you, you have to use two screens. 
And, uh, I mean, go ahead. really need to be that way. I guess, I mean, they could change it for the Switch if they really wanted to, somehow. But, yeah. At that point, they might as well just make a new game for the Switch. But, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So. But the real question is, do you think Nintendo's going to bail them out? Why? Damn. They should uh, take the team and uh, combine them with over Make Safe Mario, and then. Right. I mean, if anything, they might just buy them for the people. But do they really want to absorb the company's debt for for it? I mean, compared to Nintendo, like their debt is chump change, but you know. I mean, I mean they they have four point three million in debt, which. By American standards, is actually, you would basically say they're not in debt. Uh huh. Because I think a lot, I think most companies' debt exceeds four point three million in the United States. But you know, yeah, they're maybe they care about the Mario and Luigi uh, IP. I mean, I guess their and their problem is their. I mean, their revenue is collapsing. And I guess they don't have much on the horizon or something. Now, well, if there's so. any other reason for them to justify not making Paper Mario in an RPG, here it is. We have RPGs. They all failed. That's Why would the customers do this? <laughs> That's such a BS reason, though. There's more to it than just it was an RPG. <laughs> That's why yeah, but it's... yeah, but it's the answer they've already decided is correct, so... Wasn't because Miyamoto was like, what? What was his reason? It's like not return to the people don't want because Mario and Luigi story. games existed. Like, yeah, people don't want a like a story or something. Like what Lerone said. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't I have that. the quote on me. I don't want to <laughs> slander Miyamoto. <laughs> well. Hopefully, I guess they find their way out of this. I, I've never played any of the Mario and Luigi games, so. They're good games. Well, the, if you can get the Game Boy Advance version, do that. Honestly, I think the art style is better on that one, but superficially, or I guess they're pretty much the same game. And they really did ruin the control scheme and that. It's like, you've got... I'm just going to rant here for a second, take over the show, but... So you've got, like, this system where you know, the right bumper changes what Mario does, the left bumper changes what Luigi does, and there's about like, 20 or so different combinations. And the DS, they're like, let's just cycle through them. So that you either cycle to the left or to the right. So when it gets to the thing you want, you just, like, gotta mash the button, like, 30 fucking times. It's like, okay. Mm. You know, rant over. Uh, carry on. So... Speaking of companies that make bad decisions, Pokemon Sword and <laughs> Shield. Um, these actually don't sound like very bad decisions with the uh, the new the new information that they've been talking about here. So, uh, first of all, Pokemon. I mean, a lot of people kind of assume this, but uh, Pokemon that I've been confirmed that uh, Pokemon that are getting cut from this game are likely to still show up in some future games like you know every, every game will pick and choose what old pokemon to bring back so I just because pokemon didn't make it into this game doesn't mean that they won't be in the next game or the game after that it's just you know there there i forgot the one pokemon but it hasn't been seen in a national deck since it was released i think it was a gen 4 pokemon what what yeah it's just one of the horror stories someone points to. So they're like, oh, this Pokemon, I forget its name, hasn't appeared yeah. in a... Maybe. It hasn't appeared in a national dex for four generations, so... Fuck people like that one. Wait, so they've already cut a Pokemon? No. It, yeah, you, yeah. you know, a national dex. Or, sorry, a regional dex. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, you kept yeah. saying national, which is like... Yeah. yeah, I'm just dumb. Okay, cool. That makes more sense. Well, that's certainly interesting. 
Yeah, like Masuda base or I don't I don't know who uh, said this originally, but either Masuda or the new director for or the director for Sword and Shield said that in the past that Pokemon not in this game would likely to return in future Pokemon games. It's like that isn't really new news, but it was also pretty like it's kind of assumed that they would do that. Didn't they literally uh, say we pick to, based on the region? If yeah. we live in a world where a Minecraft mod is a better Pokemon game than an actual Pokemon game. Pixel mod? Yeah. Anyway. It has all the Pokemon, it has battling, it has an open world, it has gyms and trainers, and has all the stats. It's 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 just better. You can it has partner Pokemon. I haven't played it, so it's not this kind of fun. I mean it's got it's got everything that everyone always asks for. So, you know, is that advantage. it's the advantage of a fan made game, right? <laughs> yeah. But you don't you don't have those pesky development teams. And <laughs> but does it have <laughs> auto save? Yes. Yeah, since Minecraft is implicitly. But yeah, they've added auto save to Pokemon Sword and Shield. You can turn it off if you don't like it. Okay, cool. so when when uh, Mitch showed me that, I like didn't think any of it anything of it and i was like oh okay that's cool and then he was like well this kind of rips saves coming to i was it... memeing you could just stop in the middle of a battle there's no oh. way you're gonna stay yeah. in the battle that what you want to avoid is finishing the fight and like i don't know i guess the question is does it save the moment the pokemon's dead fainted <laughs> i don't know but Anyway, it yeah, matter. you can turn you, it you, off. You can turn it off anyway, so you can still do your yeah. legendary save scumming and get your legendary. So, uh, HMs and EXP share are gone. Okay, so like... Right. Cool. EXP share, a little weird, but okay. HMs have been gone since Sun and Moon. So I'm not really sure why that's news. Are they, are they using a better system? Yeah, so on Sun and Moon you had, like, ride Pokemon and to replace HMs. So that you just call, caught on a Pokemon that you needed to, to get through that area. I see. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's what's happening in this game, too? Oh, yeah, I know they can. They showed surfing with the bike. You put on, like, oh. water wings. And... Yeah, so maybe it's through the Pokedex? Because I think you, like, surf on your bike through the Rotom decks. I have no idea. Yep. The EXP share, that's a weird thing to cut. Um, so yeah. Pokemon in your party get equal experience automatically as you progress through the game. Oh, so mm -hmm. it's automatically on. Cool. Oh. That's they, don't, you know, they, they don't even give you the choice anymore. That's... I don't like that decision. So they're forcing the, one of the most hated features of X and Y on Yeah. You. So this game is going to be really easy. They just confirmed it. Good. Give me my bench GXP. I don't know. That's such like a weird thing. Because yeah, there's so many Pokemon. It's really nice to have the XP share. It's like... Yeah. It's good for training Pokemon, but it's not good for the story, in my it's opinion. Like, if they do X and Y the way they did it there, you're, you're just going to steamroll the whole game with your starter. Yeah, and like that's gonna be the preferred it's way to play. Balanced around that, it should be fun. Yeah, they they, yeah, they, they could balance the game. Our our could. data point says they didn't do that. Well, they didn't do it. it wasn't required. Yeah, before it wasn't like, required. So like, if you wanted to make the game harder on yourself, you could just turn it off. But now in this game, since they force it on, maybe they'll do something. To... I don't know. How did it work in a uh, Let's Go? That one had a similar system. In let okay, I, let Let's I Go is actually like meant to be. Like really casual and easy though, <laughs> so I, I don't know. If that's a very good example. I mean, like, it's, it, it's meant to be sim It's meant to be simple. That that game is actually like made for like young chill. It's very easy. <laughs> that game is very chill. Yeah, young children play uh, Fortnite. They're they're used to hard things. Nintendo's wrong. I mean, young children back in the day played Red and what Blue. Did, just what did Soul Silver do? What? Rico said they could do like Soul Silver. It was an item. 
I think, the EXP share in those games. So you oh, just yeah, the EXP share. Yeah, you, you, it was an item that a Pokemon held, and only that Pokemon got the extra XP. Or the trainer levels are raised after you beat them? Did that happen? In oh, you mean like the VS Seeker? That's been like a thing since Fire Red and Leaf Green. And maybe uh, Ruby and Sapphire, I forget. But yeah, is she talking about like the Versus Seeker, kind of? You tell me. Oh, okay, I know what she's talking about. Like, okay, so in Gold and Silver and Hard Gold and Soul Silver, trainers can call you and uh, challenge you to a rematch. And I think, I forget, like, how they determine this, but, like, they're, like, of a higher level um, if you rematch them. I think that's what she's talking about. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So maybe uh, they could have done and that. And then the last thing is they changed the gyms up. You've missed the most important thing. The most the important gyms is kind of neat. Being oh, able, to, oh, change being able to change natures. I mean, that's <laughs> Wait, important. Was that, was that confirmed? It or wasn't confirmed. Or... It, was, it was teased that you might be able to change a Pokemon to nature. How do you do that? Okay, Here, here's, the exact, here's the exact quote, so... I've got to be very vague about it, but one example, it will be visible to the player, and they'll, they'll know when they see it, I think. Say you have a Pokemon where it's got all the right stats and everything, but there's a personality parameter as well that comes into play in battles, and it might not be the right personality, so you'll breed it until you get the right one, is what people do currently. But you'll see that there's a system in the game that will fix that for people. I, I think so he lays it on kind that. of thick. I, I think I, that's amazing. I, I'm so happy to hear that. So that's like I, that's like IVs, right? So bullshit. Natures are um, they're so a Pokemon is assigned a different like. Uh, pretty much, a nature has a yeah. positive stat and a negative stat, yeah. right? Yeah. So say so that so when that Pokemon grows, it gets a positive growth in one stat or negative growth in another stat, unless it's um like a balanced stat where like none of none of their stats grow. And each Pokemon type has a selection that can be picked from but it's random so removing all those random dials is nice right like one pokemon can't have all of them right or am i wrong a pokemon can have any nature oh okay yeah. well then i was just wrong It also affects minor things like what type of food they like. Well, at least that's how it was in Gen Four. I don't know how it is in more recent games, but that's that's like a minor thing. The the big thing is like the stat growth, and it was like random. So, say for example, like if you wanted, um, I don't know, like timid. Um, a timid nature. What does timid nature do? Plus speed minus attack. I think. Plus speed minus attack. You wanted a timid nature. It What's might be. A Attack. It might be a. I don't remember. It's the speed one for either attack or special attack. I don't remember now. Yeah, I was. I was gonna say modest. I think modest is very special attack, low, lowered attack. And yeah, like you got screwed. Modest. Yeah, you got screwed, and you got like a modest. Um, uh, Kadabra or something. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> you know an Alakazam is a special attacker, and you need a special attack to be high. Yeah, no, you didn't want it to be modest. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Adam uh, is the attack one. Yeah, no, I, I meant, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I screwed up, but yeah. Hmm. So, yeah. gyms. Go ahead. I was going to say gyms. I think it's interesting. I don't think they've said enough to really know, but, you know, more content, usually better. Yeah, so there's a major and minor league, apparently. I guess, I guess the way I'm reading this is eight major league, ten minor league. Maybe. And there, yeah, there's a gem for each type. Yeah, it's kind of vague. But it says the, the, it says the main. Get. Yeah, it says the main story, and either and either one, you'll challenge eight gems all in the major leagues. Yeah. So, Sounds yeah. like between the two games, uh, which ones are minor and major might swap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they said that, right? Yeah, they said that. Yeah. And which gym leaders you would face are uh, different. So yeah, maybe that the yeah uh, you know, the open area spot they might have some 
nonlinear progression in this one. Since they are treating it like a sporting event more than some whatever. Yeah. I think they'll do uh, what everyone else always wants them to do, and it's like, oh, you know, depending on how many gyms you have, the gyms or badges you have, the gyms will change their level. Like it isn't linear. You can go to any gym you want. I mean, I, I don't know if that would be for the best, but yeah. Maybe. Why not? It'd be kind of neat. So I wonder, like, do you get badges for the minor gyms, or are they just kind of there as like an extra thing? Or so I'm curious if you have to do them in order to get to the major league. Oh, maybe. Uh, I mean, Didn't they it, say it's, it's, it says over the course of the main story, trainers will challenge eight gyms, which are all in the major league. So okay. I, I read that as no. The, the main story will not require minor league gyms, but I don't know. I mean, the, the phrasing of minor makes me think that they're the weaker gyms. Yeah. But maybe they have, like, maybe they'll make it harder by, like, maybe the minor league gyms will have more, like, restrictions. I don't know. They no idea. The anime, apparently. What do you mean, like minor? I'm gyms? assuming the major and minor leagues. I don't remember that. There, there are no major and minor leagues in the anime. I think what that person meant is oh, where some gyms gym. only required some badges, but others didn't, so they could do them in different orders. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so like when you the gyms in the anime, they they just make up their own fucking rules. They're like, we're gonna battle with one Pokemon today. Yeah. Only ice types against right. my fire. Any other final thoughts on uh, Pokemon? I mean... Or are we ready to no. see the Colonel? Wow, what about all my other uh, topics? What? There weren't any others. These there were not were. here. They're, you just didn't see them. They weren't here. <laughs> um, yeah, we can talk about this real quick. I actually do I want to talk about either. this one. Um, Nintendo Switch Lite users are experiencing Joy-Con drift, and they have now joined the class action lawsuit against Nintendo oh. over Joy-Con drift. Man, what a... Like, it sounds like such a silly thing to have a class action lawsuit over... Like, you say class action lawsuit, and your first thought is, like, you know, there was poison in a food, or a recall didn't happen, or there's a big data breach. But in this case, it's that Joy-Con's... Nah, no, fix my goddamn Joy-Con. Listen, I, I, I'm not saying that it's not a deserved lawsuit. It's just, I wish it didn't have to come to this. I wish Nintendo just acknowledged the problem. It is kind of crazy that they released an, another console with the same problem. So much so that, like, it's been out less than a month and people are already experiencing the issue. The, the, uh, people who have taken them apart, it's just the same joystick assembly. It's not... It's exactly the same one that's in the Joy-Con. They didn't change huh. it. So, like... Huh. Like, the joystick assembly is what's faulty. Um, there are home remedies, <laughs> if, you, if you call them, uh, to, to fix it in, or patch it yourself a little bit. I'm sure it breaks warranty. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. The classic Xbox 360. Put just put a penny in there. Solve the red ring of death. Uh, but yeah, Joy-Con drift. It's a thing. <coughs> I have to send in my uh, blue my, my blue Joy-Con because it has drift. I don't use the Joy Cons for anything, so I don't really care. Go me. I travel with my Switch, so... Uh, but apparently some people who have done that repair have gotten them back just to get Drift again two weeks later, so... Well, crap. I was kind of well, wondering, like... May vary. <laughs> well, the problem is Nintendo of Japan still hasn't acknowledged the problem. <sighs> um, so, Nintendo of America is the only one who has. So, they're, like... It's not like they have... Like, new Joy-Con, you know, joystick assemblies or anything like that. Because, you know, those would all come from mainland Nintendo. So, China. that means that that what probably what they're doing is basically what people are doing at home. 
to fix them, more or less. Because the the issue is that there's like the pad that the joystick like makes contact with underneath, you know, on the on the PCB has a really really thin uh, layer of conductive material on it, and that thin layer rubs down over time, and it rubs down more towards the center, so the system doesn't quite know exactly where the joystick is when it's sitting at neutral. So sometimes it gets stuck thinking it was at the last direction it was being held. Or sometimes just picks a direction left or right. So, yeah, it, it's a bad joystick design. Like, it, they're not the first one to make this design mistake, but, like, I mean, it's, you Nintendo don't make was that like now. Apple. It doesn't exist unless they made it. So, I don't know. I want at least Nintendo to have to acknowledge the problem and do... I mean, honestly, it sucks for Nintendo, but they uh, they might have to do a, a, a recall or something. For the Switch lights, yeah. For the Switch lights, I, absolutely. Uh, for the Joy-Cons, I highly doubt that they're actually going to do a full recall. Right. Um, they should at least fix it for future models and they should continue offering the free repairs to those who are willing to get up get off the couch and send them in well like you know, japan should offer it properly once they have a new joystick so they can just re actually replace the joysticks i will be right back keep talking on joy con so that's what i hope to see out of this class action lawsuit full-on recall is probably overkill for this Plus, I mean, that would be, like, insanely expensive. Yeah. To do a full recall. But, I mean, they might have to recall current stock once they have new ones. We'll see. Uh, and... Sony doing crossplay. Quick blurb, play. yeah. Sony is opening up crossplay to uh, everyone now. Cool. Should have like done this. Beta. Literally should have done this forever ago. So, through a beta, fuck off, Sony. There's no, ba there's no, there's no work you really have to do for this. The beta was, does it, ki does it kill system sales or something? Does it kill system sales? Yeah, I don't know. Everyone else has allowed crossplay for a while, and it's fine. What was their reasoning as to why they didn't allow crossplay? Do you remember? It was like some yeah, there's some stupid company rules, so why they didn't know. Uh... Oh, it was entirely because it's only a detriment to them. Right. Yeah, but th what was their publicly given reason? Oh, yeah, who fucking cares? I was trying to remember what bullshit they tried to uh, Let's see. pass off. Sony defends decision to block PS4 crossplay. This is probably it. But anyway, on the only thing I'm gonna, the last little piece of news I'll just say is that uh, PlayStation now cuts their price in half, and they added God of War and Uncharted 4. Ooh, little, Uncharted 4. Quick little blurb. So now PlayStation now is only ten bucks a month. Are you gonna pay for it? Eight hundred games on it. I don't have a PlayStation. Here it's, it is. It's ex streaming. Well, you can stream on your PC, I think. Yeah, it, it supports PC. Nah. Okay. Yeah. So what this guy said in the interview was, uh, there are a lot of kids playing online with us, exposing what in many cases are children to external influences we have no ability to manage or look after. It's something we have to think about very carefully. What? <laughs> Yeah, that that's a good. Just that's come a good with response. an online game. Yeah, he, well, what's impressive here is that he's claiming he can actually control or manage yeah, the PlayStation me? user base. If it's not crossplay, we can control our user base. Why? I don't get it. Why can I earn? Why am I earning like rankings in my own chat? You say this every week, and yeah. it fascinates me every time because you it is such a strange decision. Yeah. 
Well, also, like, the thing why? is, okay, I get five hearts for every time I send a chat message, right? But I can just spam, right? Like... And you're, a, you're an admin, so that doesn't... I'll get auto hotkey going and get in there, bud. Can you get global? So I'm just, so let's see, I just spammed a bunch of messages, and what do you know, I actually get experience for all that. Because you can get global <laughs> time out on Twitch. That's stupid. But I'm talking in my own chat. Banned. So? So unless I'm, like, sending messages inhumanly fast, I have a feeling that I won't. Why are viewers telling you to stop? Stop. I was sending those on purpose, Rico. I was trying to, uh, I was trying wow. to level up. Gaming faster. the system. Yeah, gaming the system. I'm just gonna earn a few more experience points real quick. Wow, actually, actually cheating. This, this is their own fault. Why would they do this? <laughs> Don't take it. <laughs> this doesn't even make sense as a feature. Alright, but Why I'll, spa would you I'll spam in my own chat later. For now. Not in your chat, they own it. Alright, we're gonna start the game. What game? I love you, Colonel Sanders. Ooh. Wow, you didn't use my title either. I made the title before you got here. Because no one was here. What? No, I put it in the podcast chat. I mean, in the show notes. Yeah, it was like empty when I first opened it. What? It wasn't empty when you were getting the links. Okay, just ignoring my articles now. And well, yeah, but, but we start, but we start streaming at seven forty-five. Just change it. Actually, no. I, I'm pretty sure I made that before seven forty-five. GG. Anyway, <laughs> uh, there we go. We can unmute the game now. All right. Let's continue where we left off. Uh, last you guys saw in our Wicked Adventures. Um, what do we even do today, one? Oh yeah, a kid died. What? Yeah, yeah like cares about him. we actually. Oh, yeah, I also, I also saw you kill that kid. Yeah. We did not kill him. We did not kill him. You're Jojo right. Jojo dude killed him. Tojo dude. So what happened in like the last half of the last episode? Because I, I like passed out. I we're believe we were that. having a one night stand with the colonel and <laughs> someone died. They got in a battle or something. Oh, oh, I actually have my, most of my voice back this week. Oh. So uh, I can I can do more, but I can do better voices this time. <clears throat> All right. You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Shit, real quick. Is the music? Too loud. Uh, Regal, let me know if the music's too loud and I'll turn it down. Alright, you wake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with Spork Monster, she launches into a story of her own. Wait, hold on. Sorry, I gotta turn the music down for myself. It's really loud. Alright. Before you can tell her about the encounter with Spork Monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound a little oh, strange. Oh, God, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I actually, think that's racist. The high part of my voice still actually uh, doesn't exist. But, uh, I might be. No! <laughs> <laughs> Can you please? Um. I think I might like Clank. Like him? Like, like, like? The uh, oven? <laughs> yeah, the oven. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. <sighs> I think I might have a really old voice. Yeah, I think I <laughs> We got to talking after class. 
What like is that? sexist? <laughs> he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? Nope, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at, at, a, at a school he didn't even go to. And was also <laughs> the con convertible that he himself rode in the front of the homecoming parade. I'm is the stream so lagging or is it just me? What? The stream's kind of lagging for me. It might be just me. What do you mean by like, lagging? Like, the text is, like, not appearing for a while. Okay, just, just continue, just continue. I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation here. Either way, maybe I'd be it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, you're a thing now? We definitely connected yesterday. Ah ha 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 ha, sure you did. You're great, why wouldn't he be into you, I guess. Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, well, he did tell me one of his secret ingredients. Ooh. Your bestie's eyes will light up. A secret ingredient? Don't betray his trust. Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wandering. This can't be good. He told me about his passion for spices. Secret spices. The man even gave me some, oh no, <laughs> to, show, to show me what he meant. He said that it was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals, and that if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice, he even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me, and the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. Shokugeki no so? I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Whatever. Anyhow, we both shared an interest in cooking. So now we've stayed in touch, you know, like pen pals. I'm sure he would love to know more about new spices. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. She Cough. came up with that whole story just to get you to tell the spice? She's good. Cough, fiber, cough. Please, 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 it would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. Nope. Oh, man, what do we... Don't betray nope, his trust. Nope, nope, You can't nope. betray the colonel. Absolutely yep. not. Make, enough, make a make, fake ingredient. Make, a real make friend with fake ingredients. Quickly think of a fake ingredient in a name. I don't know, how about... It was Eye of Nukes. <laughs> I know, it sounds like some kind of witch's potion, but what can you do? Is she I dumb enough to believe this? Wow! She's, she's her dumb eyes to light up, this. imagining such a thing, and you figure out that you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity, and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you ask her to confirm that she's definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. It's Colonel Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> He's arriving at school. Stand back and admire his majestic glory, or run to him. I don't run know the right him. answer. Run to him. Run to him, hello? Just flower petals. You, oh, gotta, you, you gotta run to him. You decide to, the best way to show Miriam how serious you and the Colonel Sanders are would be it to run to him. Surely he'll sweep you up on the back of his stallion and you'll ride away together. That'll show her good. Oh, Colonel, my Colonel. <laughs> However, your sudden movement surprised the horse and it rears up, kicking you directly in the face. The what force the of the blow completely oh, knocks you? you out cold. Am I dead? In the darkness, you see a vision. Coast of student. Ooh, 11 herbs and spices and PE. I am here to deliver you a message. Not this guy. Oh, it I is forgot important that's that name. you remember this exactly as I say it. If you forget, the world could end, so you know it's serious. 
I have been trapped in a realm beyond. But a great prophecy relies on my return. Only you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name three times. And that name is... But before he continues, you suddenly awake. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez, said the ghost of student. You wake to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. He roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices. Or is that just his natural seasoned musk? That's just my natural musk. Uh, do we compliment uh, the craftsmanship of your of his horse's shoes or lean in for a kiss? Who is it? Is this the colonel? Lean it's, in it's for a kiss. Colonel. Mm -hmm. Kiss. What's the What's the I, vote here? I guess kiss. Lerone. Sure. All right, we're going for it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You've known him for a day. Are you really sure? I guess you must be. You put your arms around Colonel Sanders' neck and pull him in for a kiss. But he turns his face, and you awkwardly Jeez. kiss his ear. You can feel him shudder. Too soon, you clearly mistook his compassion for love. Your soul, your soul crawls inside of itself, and you instantly, you instantly die, die of embarrassment. <laughs> Game right, over. Dude. You always gotta have bad endings where you like a requirement. Jeez. He didn't even say, like, no. He was just, like, <laughs> looked he, away. He shuddered. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, you what? started back from here? Oh, GG. Alright, well, we're gonna... Okay, <laughs> there's 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 there's... Luckily, there's a fast-forward button. Alright, well. Why did it set us back that far? I guess it's because we didn't... Uh, you ingredient... Up. Uh, okay, we ran to him. Ghost of student. Alright, compliment the craftsmanship of the horse's shoes. <laughs> maybe, maybe he shouldn't be riding a horse to school, and maybe you shouldn't be running up to animals you don't know. It's hard to say who is in the wrong here. But one thing's for sure, that Colonel Sanders is pretty dreamy. That horse has beautiful shoes. I That's could really feel how smooth and sturdy they were when they were pressing into my face. That's nice to hear. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship anymore, says Colonel Sanders. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you can see your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are doing something bad. By the way they're hiding, you know it must be really bad. Like counterfeiting recipes bad. Counter counterfeiting recipes. How do you counterfeit a How do you recipe? experimenting a with restricted ingredients bad? Summoning a demon bad? You try and get a peek over over Van Van's hulking shoulder. But he sees you coming. Van Van. Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. <laughs> Ashley, why don't you make like a bee and mine your own wax, honey? Tell them to stop acting immature or act like you're not interested in them, but really try and get a closer look. Second one, right? Wait, what? No complaints. Why do we care? For the mystery. Yeah, you're right. Why do we care? Tell them to stop acting immature. You immediately dre dress the rivals down for their immature behavior. Culinary school is to be respected. This kind of nonsense is a waste of everyone's time. Now you've upset them. Oh, and you're oh, the no. emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules? I'm not sure you, you'd know a good meal if it ate you. Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes panache. And it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. You finally get a look at what it was they were hiding, and you instantly recognize it. Evil? It's a book, just like the one you found after you in after your encounter with the spork monster. Yeah, I like don't remember this. I think I like passed out. You don't remember the, the epic battle? Yeah, the epic battle with fork monster. With spork no, monster. I don't. No, I don't. There was actually turn-based combat. Yeah, don't remember that. Anyway. That's the same book that I found last night in the in the quad. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his back. I don't know what you're talking about. That book is a family heirloom, and its contents are a secret. 
You notice that they haven't just been studying the book. They've got Pop pinned to the wall. They're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. I'm not even... I, I, I don't think I can do a voice for this guy without being offensive. We're playing! <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep beep, says Clank. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty foot. Hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts. You wa You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. Bzzz, womp, said Clank. Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard, heard such language, not even from a stand mixer. Womp, womp. No, your mother was a stand mixer. Or, I'm not even... More noises. Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, <laughs> sending him flying across the room. Shouldn't he be dead? Whoa. Whoa. Ashley, protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me, but I'm not interested in either of them. Ashley's tone compl has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Surely he must know this is a ruse, right? Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena, at least. Or don't, honestly. What do I care? I've got a lot. I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. Ashley, maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, Sprinkles arrives to signal the true start of, cl of the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a dog. Students, students, please take your sheets. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all over town, and my tiny legs are very, very tired. But I'm here now, and I hope you're ready to learn. You try to give Sprinkles a pat on the head, but he snarls at you. Sorry, sorry. I, got, I, got, I get a little worked up if people try and pet me before I've had my morning coffee. Let that be a lesson to you. Sprinkles stops in his tracks and sniffs the air around you. Something has him in a trance. It's the scent left on you from Colonel Sanders. Sprinkles jumps on you and licks your face. Down, boy, down. Othopin. Othopin. What is that? Colonel Sanders. I I think that's might be G G German. Is that German? Like... Okay. That command shouted by Colonel Sanders has snapped Sprinkles out of his trance. I wonder what's up with that. Sorry, I got a little carried away. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, we'll review the global history Ooh. of my favorite fowl, the chicken. We want you to pay attention. You want to pay attention to the lesson. You truly do. Which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't ah. help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you missed most of the important parts. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, eleven herbs and pea? Naturally, this appears to you to be a simple platter. Which item do you want to sample? A glass of water, a shimmering pepper, or a dog biscuit? Um... Let's just be boring and do a glass of water. Well, apparently... I'm feeling the pepper, but... Okay. Let's put this in the live chat. Apparently that whole 18 gems thing in Pokemon was a complete lie. It was a lie? Well, they were given bad information. What? <laughs> well, well, that'll that'll be a good funny news topic to end the show with. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which I, uh, we're, uh, I guess we're going with a pepper? Just go with pepper. A brightly colored pepper stands out from the other items. It sparkles in the most eye-catching way, so naturally you reach out, grab it, and eat it right away. However, your body is not prepared for the heat. Oh, no. The pepper has triggered an intense spice hallucination. It feels like forever as you trip through the universe. Ghost, my friend. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, so this, I was right. This guy again. I'm here to give you an important message. Ooh, 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 ooh. You must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. This is not a good ghost voice. Oh. Oh, okay, I don't want to. I, I can do a better ghost voice. Go oh, uh, yeah, I forgot your voice is dead. Never mind. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, you must do is. 
I was Speak saying to fulfill your destiny. Oh, I can't do this right now. <laughs> Sorry, I think I got some of that spice stuck in my throat. <clears throat> to fulfill <clears throat> the prophecy. <clears throat> you, <must> you, you feel yourself begin to regain consciousness. Oh, man. You come to and find everyone is staring at you. That pepper was the last of its kind on Earth, and now it's gone forever. <laughs> 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 you think yourself, annoying. geez, I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you someday. Come on, it's time for lunch, says Miriam. Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim, and your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch, today's lunch will be prepared via timed competitive cook-off. The level of theatrics with these two is off the charts. Demand that they stop wasting everyone's time or step up and tell them you're on. Bring it on. Thank That's you. the only option. Bit of lunchtime competition, eh? Count me in. If I have to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down on it, then so be it. I'm not the fool. You're the fool. Fool. Good one, man. Colonel Sanders. Good one, Van Van. I like your gumption. Eleven herbs and peas. I'll be watching your performance, says Colonel Sanders. Just mm -hmm. as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sportsing court. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wait, am I actually going to have to do something? Like, with a timer? Maybe, yeah. Just then, a huge light blasts in your face, flashing the words, timer ready. That's what I'm talking about. Aru! <laughs> okay. I stand corrected. The hard, way builds, the hard way builds solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away, says Colonel Sanders. And that's an original quote by me, in case anyone was wondering. I hope its message lifts you to victory. Like a diamond, I was formed under pressure. Now is my chance to shine, says Ashley. I will defeat you myself as she holds a knife on a chain. <laughs> on a chain? Um, yeah, um. with a heart at the other end of the chain. You had his chicken and, you've made, and you have made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one and you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water from the potatoes. We're, gonna, we're just going to make mashed potatoes again? <laughs> Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. Okay, what temperature does water boil at? All right, are we just going to answer these correctly? Correctly, yes. yes. All right. Winter gets to rub my furry belly. Let that enticing offer motivate you. You're going to need to season this chicken before you cook it, but you don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe yet. Exactly, but you have an idea. How many herbs and spices did he says he uses? Eleven. Uh... Tail wagging intensifies. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. What state of mind offers the most flavor? Isn't it gratitude? Was this in episode one? I don't know. That's remember. right. Yeah, it was. You must never you must never take this opportunity for granted if you hope to succeed. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You better pick up the pace <laughs> if you want to survive. When you were survive? a child, when you were a child, your, survivor, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day you meditate on this advice and draw energy from that place. Now be a great... Where does it come from? Oh, no. Uh, 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 the shoulder the of Orion. Shoulder. Fuck! <laughs> uh, well. This is a horrible time to start forgetting important things. Next question. You try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. What is the sound of success? Oh, this is actually getting faster. Silence. Silence? That's right. All right. Cool. When they taste your cooking, they will be so taken with it that they are unable to speak. You know, it's Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe in you, Eleven Herbs and Pea. He's actually cheering you on, which which would be awesome, except knowing that he's watching you makes you totally forget what you're doing. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders. How many spoonfuls of gr Oh, fuck. Uh, no, uh... God, God damn it. <laughs> I don't think so. I, was, there a good, was there a right answer on that board, or were they all about right Colonel answer. Sanders? 
It gives you just no time. Grr, says Sprinkles. You're stranded on a desert island with only one desert cookbook. Cook. Which do you take? What a hunk. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, right? You know what? Shouldn't you be focused on the challenge? You're falling behind. Um, 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 oh god damn it. These are all terrible. Yeah. <laughs> What does this have to do with crafting spectacular fried chicken and delicate baked biscuits? Woof woof. You're really struggling to keep up. And at the, at the next station over, Ashley has already begun plating elements of her dish. It's colorful and complex. To make up time, you toss your biscuit dough into a stand mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. Ugh, yikes. Zerbs. I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. You might not have any hands, but 11 herbs and pea does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know where it's when it's properly mixed. There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by going the easy way, says Colonel Sanders. When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand in the mixer to rescue your dough before it's overmixed. 11 herbs and pea, no, but you're not fast enough, and your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by the quickly spinning beat. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Sanders, Sanders shakes his head in shame. What you often find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone stop what you're doing right now. This battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply can't go on. Aw, oh, that's too bad. And here I am with a completed dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. No, no, it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of 11 herbs and peas injury. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skip straight to dessert. Okay. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. I was going to ask Eleven Herbs and Pea to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. <laughs> Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden underneath. Okay. Inside, you'll find a, a delicate fried cheese croquet atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry gelée. She did not make that. <laughs> Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger into the chocolate sauce. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? Oh, you. He he. As he places his so sauce-covered finger into his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something in his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Internalize the rage you feel, or put yourself between Colonel Sanders and Ashley. Um, Internalize, he ain't into it. Yeah, I think I agree. Your rage burns so intensely with your eyes that they burst the into eyes. flames. The flames no. cause your eyebrows to catch fire no. and turn to ash. They fall off your face, which means people will have a hard That's time stupid. understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester, perhaps forever. Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy, fried eyebrow, you run for the quad to be alone. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and decided to get married. And he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. Oh, I, I guess this is the right option. <laughs> Interesting. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer and that small fire. We should get that checked out. <laughs> it's fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I, oh, I'm not fit to fill your fryer. I'll um, never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think. Well, you're right. Well, then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you, enrolled in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, and motivated. Well, handsome, sure. I was born that way. <laughs> but I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. But I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. 
I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule herder. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I lost my business partner to a gunfight. Excuse me? I didn't know. People see true? my delicate ribbon tie and well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it hasn't always been. <laughs> Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved that when I, I resolved that I was going to amount to something. No matter, no amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream, dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I'll create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Yay, it's just pop. Wow, you didn't let me do my voice. I, uh, yeah, I didn't. Just as, just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Oh, Battle Scar from the night before, you prepare for the worst. It's the Spork Monster. Yeah, I don't remember this. Borko! It is. I know I said I wouldn't be back after the whole fight to the death thing. Maybe you won't really want to see me anymore, but I just wanted to say that I was wrong to attack you, and I apologize. I know this is a terrible monster voice. Do you want me to do it? Oh, hold on, hold on. I, I was going to try something, but... I know what it's like. <laughs> I know what it's like having to always look over your shoulder. Monster That's probably what problems, he am I right? Aw, oh, thanks, Borko. I'm glad there are no hard feelings. Getting jumped by a giant creature in the dark of night can really rile a person up. I ha also want to apologize for the way I switched right into attack mode. I kn oh, that's interesting. So it, it remembered that. <laughs> anyway, I know that you're strong, and cooking school can put a person under a lot of str- Oh, this is a spork monster. I actually used to go to this school. I wasn't always a spork monster, you see. I don't believe it. You were a human once? Well, no, I was a golden retriever, but I was still a what? student. Until one day, some mean kids with a magic spellbook cast a dark enchantment on me, and I was forever transformed. You're going to transform the professor. A magic spellbook. Precisely. I have procured a copy for myself, but somewhere along the way I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. You're a powerful chef and shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. If you need me, don't fear. I will be here. I Sounds like it. there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life, Eleven Herbs and Pea. I'm sure together we can defeat them. Come back defeat. to my hideaway and we can discuss. Hmm? A personal invite. I can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Every Stepping inside Sanders' right. home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. It looks like you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude, says the Colonel. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a side dish I've been tinkering with, trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy. Both, perhaps? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him or keep it a secret just for you? Mmm. Mm. Reveal it. This is actually tough. Reveal it. He's your man. Not yet. Yeah, don't you no. want to? Yeah, I got to keep him Yeah, Yeah, more, can't right? give it all up at once. <laughs> I think we keep it a secret. Okay, this is not the way to handle it. Actually, I've said too much. Yep. Please forget I, I ever said <laughs> anything. Gee, we suck. You can practically hear Colonel Sanders' heart beating in his chest. Oh, God. Is he going to beat it out of us? Look at, look, at, look at his face right now. I'm scared. 
He tries to act demure, but his facade begins to crack. I can appreciate a good secret, of course. In fact, I've got many. Nearly a dozen in my fried chicken recipe alone. But I would hope that you could learn to trust me with yours. Well, I suppose you did share a secret ingredient with me yesterday, so it'd be only fair. Colonel Sanders' face grows serious. Ah, yes. About that. You see... Y yes Colonel? I haven't been completely honest with you. The secret I told you was... a fake. Oh no, that secret you shared with Miriam, it wasn't true? Wow, we didn't... So, like... a fake of a fake? Did we accidentally get it right? You're angry with Colonel Sanders for lying, but the fact that you revealed his secret shows that he was probably right to do so. I might have accidentally clicked on that. <laughs> on the second yeah. run-through. After we lost. Oh. GG. <laughs> you mean it wasn't one of the 11 secret herbs and spices? You see, we, we had only just met, and I had to make sure that you were trustworthy and capable of keeping my most important secret. To me, my recipes are priceless. Well, I have something to confess. That secret ingredient you told me, I shared it with Miriam, my bestie. Unfortunately, I already knew this. I was very... Fuck. I was very disappointed. But now Oof. you've come clean and we can start building our relationship as fellow chefs again. I promise to be honest from here on out. I really do. Is he going to kill us? I'm counting oh. on you. In that case, I present to you my original coleslaw. Coleslaw? This, the shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders Lux hideaway. Magnet wait, we we just had this? Like on us? <laughs> Don't ruin this. Magnificent, says Colonel Sanders. Together you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful <laughs> remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so I can admire its taste later and think back this to this too. moment. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. <laughs> what? <laughs> to do some what? <laughs> Around the room, there are various items that you could take a closer look at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to discover more about the colonel. All right. How about this chicken? You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on the corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic. It's real. Taxidermy? Must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. The, the chicken? A little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads, The true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. Uh, right, uh, how about these mountains in the background? You gaze out the window across a vast lake and mountain range behind. Just then, the ghost of student pops up. Uh, I got this, I got this, I got this. Alright. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> what are you? I can't do it, I can't do it. Just continue. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking about heading out into the world on a quest to avenge my death? Wait, what? I never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I could just tell you my name right now. With... Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? You open the window window a crack and the ghost of student is swept out with a breeze tap out an <laughs> item to discover more about the All right. okay. about this dark picture this must be where he keeps his oh it's a safe this must be where he keeps his secret recipe you think for a moment what number is important to colonel sanders and then it dawns on you 11 oh my god as soon as you wow, turn I the have... dial to 11 11 11 the safe opens <laughs> inside it you find a single note kill him oh. hmm can chicken be prepared sashimi style? What? <laughs> Interesting question. <laughs> All right. An adorable little baby boy <laughs> crawls across the floor. From the goatee and mustache combo he sports, you figure that this must be the colonel himself. That or maybe it's the drumstick that he seems to be waving like a rattle. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of a company they founded, am I right? Okay. Whoa! A door cracked open. Do you oh want to God. tap that now? This, this is, is actually not you okay. Open the, the, you open the <laughs> Colonel Sanders closet and find a row of his signature white suits hanging within. You take one off its hanger and try it on. What the? What the? 
<laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> the jacket is a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in his scent. They say that oh home is where the God. heart is. Is this what they meant? Oh, no. Before you can yeah, work any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on. He wants you to taste it. You try and act casual until he asks why you're wearing his jacket. <laughs> I don't usually loan those out, but I must say, it does look good on you. I wanted to smell your essence, Colonel. Oh, crap, the jacket. You forgot to take it off. All right. So you decide now is your moment and make a big move. You tell him you're cold, or you fess up and tell him the truth. All right, we're not Do doing options. Tell the truth. Tell no. The truth. No. Tell him that what? we're smelling his essence. Yes. No, no. That, that can't be the right answer. <laughs> I, I, Do you want to just see it and see what happens? Yeah. I mean, you probably die. I don't even know what the answer is. It's probably you tell him you're cold. I guess? Because we're, not, I, make, I we're not making big moves on day two. That's that's going to kill us. It's not day three yet. Oh, we're going to tell him the truth. Wow. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. We said that we would be truthful. We did? Oh. Rico's right. Rico's oh. right. <laughs> Oh, I wow. think I've developed feelings for you. Oh, man. I might be developing feelings for you, too. But I'm concerned. I can't let anything get in the way of my dream. True, true, true. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. What? But the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself. Colonel? Yes, 11 herbs and peas? I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. You talk late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Dream sequence, exclamation point. <laughs> you awake to a beautiful morning in Colonel Sanders' hideaway. Well. Don't we have, don't we have school? Well, I'll find out next week. On uh, the next episode of Game I Love You, theory. Colonel Sanders. Are we sure this is day? Th this is the end of day two. I mean, I, I know it's. A we just day. we yeah the 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 last day ended with that same dream sequence thing. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, you you would know that if you were, uh, you know, an avid viewer in the stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was from what you guys told me about day one. That was pretty uh, disappointing. Same. Yeah. And we did, like, break our hand. Yeah. yeah that just not... happened. Hey, and we've gotten, uh, we've, we've gotten our feelings out to, to the colonel, so. We've gotten the first base. Things are happening. I don't know if that's, I like zero with, we're like, we got a hit. Yeah, you, you didn't get we, we, we hit the ball with the bat. That, that's what we've done so far. <laughs> hit the ball with the bat. So... Uh, if you want to see our continued work on this series, join us next week for the Colonel Part 2. I forgot to change the game or for the Colonel Part 3. I actually forgot to tell you, so. It's all good. But anyway, we have a, one more surprise news topic uh, to, end, to end today with. So, Mitch. Uh, I put everything I know in the live chat. And it is, of course, in the form of a meme. Okay, so apparently the 18 gyms thing has been corrected to th that the gyms will be a similar number to prior games, but different between versions. I take that as meaning 18 total gyms, 9 per version. There have been 8 gyms. Yeah. yeah, it's that similar number, not exact number. I don't know, it just seems weird to replace every single gym. I mean, different gym might not mean much. <laughs> it, what if it... It might just mean a... I don't know. I don't know what it might mean, but... I feel like if it's a different gym, it would have a different gym leader. That's a I lot mean, of character designs. They already confirmed that um, we would be getting different gyms. So yeah, they did, they did confirm that there would be different gym leaders between the games, so... Yeah, yeah but for all of them? Most maybe, likely not. Maybe. Who knows?
but yeah, that is all we have for you today. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Best of Six. Uh, okay, let me uh, get the actual out, quote. Shout out to our sponsors. Uh, before we end Alpha the show, Dream. Alpha Dream. <laughs> yeah, Alpha Dream is our sponsor. Before we end the show, let me get the actual quote. I got this from Sarah B. Um, Game, Game Informer have have received have received a follow-up from their original article about the gem statement reported on October 1st. With this, they state that they were told there would be a similar amount of gems to battle as prior games, but some do change between versions as seen with Bea's fighting type gem and sword and Alistair's gem, ghost type gem and shield. In the game's lore, however, there are 18 across the leagues. As reported back in July, there are eight gem badges to collect in the game. That's it. So are they counting Elite Four as a gem? No. I think 18 is just like lore, and not, there's not 18 playable gyms, which seems really dumb. So, I guess well, they, that Okay, okay. So the weird thing is, like, didn't it say that there was going to be major and minor leagues, and that there were, that, that, that the eight gyms that you would play in the main story were all major league? So how does that... So can you just, like... Are maybe, they... maybe the announcement is for the TV show coming up, because they've been dropping stuff for that. Yeah. Well, I thought they got leaked. Well, there was an official trailer. Oh, didn't know that. It's not very impressive. Well, this literally just got corrected like an hour ago. Well, anyway, that's all we got for you guys today. Thanks for watching, and stay beat.